Winter is the season for the penguin and the Newport Aquarium and the Wave Foundation are making it easy to learn about these Antarctic animals. And joining me this morning is Dan Dunlap telling me all about Simon, the penguin yep. here. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Yes, and Simon <laughs> seems so happy this morning. She's literally flapping her wings. She's wiggling yeah. around. She's closing her eyes. She's a very happy penguin. We take uh, very good care of her, and she loves the attention. She loves the spotlight. She loves <laughs> getting out in the community, meeting people like yourself, and yeah. uh, spreading the word about African penguin conservation. And you guys are spreading the word as well. You guys have an event coming up, right? Yes, we do. Next Wednesday, January 18th, we have another speaker for our marine biology and conservation lecture series. So that's held at the Newport Aquarium. So we have a guest speaker coming in. She's a professor at Cal Berkeley and her specialty is emperor penguins. So what better way to promote the emperor penguin presentation than have Simon, our animal ambassador, come out and talk to the community and drum up support to come see her speak. Yes, and why don't you tell us a little bit about Simon because I understand she's got a lot of personality. She does. <laughs> Simon's a 10 year old African penguin. So she's a warm weather penguin. Not many people People realize that there are such things as warm weather penguins that they all don't live in Antarctica and she does have a great personality she loves coming on TV she does very well with the lights the sounds and everything and she even has a special talent I brought with me a painting that uh, our penguins paint at the Newport Aquarium and what we do is we sell these on our website wavefoundation.org or in our gift shop and the proceeds actually go to penguin conservation. So that's, that's what we call enrichment and the penguins love painting. I mean, perfect Valentine's Day gift, right? Absolutely, <laughs> definitely. That's coming up soon. Yes, so you can is. get your red and pink footprints all over. Yeah, definitely. And the coolest thing I think about Simon and other penguins that we've seen are they, they recognize humans. It's not like they are these, you know, arbitrary. It, they really have a personality and they really understand and have empathy for the people that care for them. They do. It's building the relationship with the animals. So whether it's feeding, cleaning, just going in there and spending time with them. When I train people on penguins, I tell them just to talk to them, just to develop that relationship with them. And, you know, Dr. McDonald, our guest speaker coming in next Wednesday, she's going to talk more in depth about what you're just mentioning there. So she's been all over Antarctica working specifically with the emperor penguin. And we're really looking forward to that. Absolutely. Well, I so appreciate you coming on, Great. Dan. Well, thanks for having us. No problem. And of course, you too, Simon. <laughs> and you can see the Emperors of the Ice January 18th at the Newport Aquarium Riverside Room. There will be appetizers and animal encounters at 6 p.m. Then the presentation will follow at 7. General admission is $20. For more information or to get tickets, go to thomasmore.edu. Thanks so much. Great.